mailbag time. Let's see what we've got here. I've only got four items, shouldn't take too long. There'll be links down below for these things if I can, if it's applicable. Right, it's a clamping mount. We have a swivel adapter, which is a lot like what I use on my camera here. Only one I've got is a bit beefier than this one, I think. And then we've got a couple of little thread adapters, quarter inch to whatever the, hell the other one is. I don't know what it is. Whatever that bigger size is, I don't know. That fits a no. Like that. Cool. Anyway, so ideas you can clamp this on or something, and we can mount a camera or other device which fits into this particular mount. And obviously with this pivot, you can ball join it anywhere you want. Now I actually have a use for this, which is running live stream cameras at an event. So I actually want to do some work at an event where I'm live streaming multiple rings at once. So this event is held in rings, and I want to run multiple cameras at the same time and try and overlay and merge them all together and stuff like that and do a live stream. Not on my channel, but on a, another channel. But mounting the cameras is a problem. I was thinking if I get some of these clamp mounts, it gives me some options about where I can put these cameras. I can put them onto anything, basically I'll clamp them on anywhere and just put position cameras where I need them. And it should do the job. So I thought I'd get myself some of these because it should be good enough. Hopefully anyway. Well, I was wrong. I got more than four. It's a bag of packages. And just like that, we've gone from having four packages to having seven packages. That's much better. Right, what's in here? So I showed these and then maybe it's the last one or one before that, I'm not sure. I've got some of these things. But somehow I'd, I'd got the wrong one. So I actually wanted metric ones. Ones which actually arrived were Imperial. So Imperial's fine if you live in an Imperial country, you're used to using Imperial. I'm a metric person. So on here we have a millimetre scale. And it steps up one millimetre on each, so it goes up and up and up. What you do is you push this into your tyre, not obviously into the tyre, but you know into your tyre groove and your tread. And depending on the depth of this, that's the depth you get over here, in theory. Alright, so you shouldn't go below 1.6 millimetres. It's also got 30 seconds on it as well, this has got both scales. So the other one, which I got, was only 30 seconds on all sides. And this one's got metric as well. It feels like it's got an O-ring inside here, which is what makes it slide and just grip on quite nicely. Gives a nice resistance. Yeah, if I go to zero... That zero there, and there you go, there's a zero mark. It's not perfect, but it's going to be give you a reasonable indication, isn't it? It's cheap, a couple of bucks. So this is another mount, a bit like the one I showed before. So it's adjustable. In some form. Yeah, you unscrew it like that. Okay, and then it's got a clamp on it, so you can clamp it on instead of having to unscrew it all the way. That could be handy. And it's got this uh, pivoting joint just like this. It doesn't have the 360 degree, well, multi-universal, it's got a universal joint pivot. This has just got a hinging pivot. So it's not quite as good as that one in that way, but this could be one which is quicker to get them off. You know, you have it latched like that and then clamp it on something which is hopefully suitable for it to adjust by. I don't know if it We'll adjust by that much, so I don't know, maybe. I've got a few different ones because I wasn't quite sure what I was going to use, as is often the case. I get carried away. Ooh, what's this? USB sound card. I vaguely remember something about this, I don't know exactly what it was. So it's got a USB A port, standard type, not a USB 3. Um, it's got headphone, microphone, and headphone again. So that's just headphones only, that's only microphone, and this is a headset which has got microphone built into it as well. You can probably see the markings there. Now there's a reason I got this. I don't remember what it was, but there's a reason I got this. I think it was something to do with the live stream thing, which I was saying about these camera mounts. I think I was what I had in mind is maybe using one of my existing mics and rigged it up outside as well, so you can get like the sound from the event as well. 
without getting the sounds from the actual place I'm running the cameras from. Well, shotgun mics, I've got a couple of them. Not very good ones, but they'll work. And I think they've only got a standard audio output on them, so I could potentially hook it up to this and see how well it goes. But I'll use another USB port, and my Mac only has two USB ports. What's it say about it? Yeah. Yep, that's totally clear. That's better. That's right information. Basically, no information at all about how it works. Wait, hold on. Is there more? There is, but it won't come out. There you go. Nothing too exciting there. <laughs> uh. It's another camera out. Another clip on one. Bulldog style clip, I suppose, with another universal joint on it. This is just a clip-on, which could also be handy for quickly attaching or removing cameras. Like I said, I don't know which one I'm going to end up using. These look the same, but they're not the same, these universal joints. This one's got a much thicker base on it compared to this one. This one's really hollow. This is a plastic top. This is rubber top. This is better quality than this one. Who copied who? <laughs> anyway, three different camera mouse to try. I've only got two cameras. Gives you options, doesn't it? I think I know what's in here. A little bag as well, it's nice. I asked them to protect it so it wouldn't get damaged, get folded and stuff like that. They've done that. Good on them. Death from approved. Put a cable back on it, which is also what I asked for. Nice. Good on them. Right, so this is the Kifli 150B microvolt ammeter manual, which is a piece of gear which I picked up recently, locally, for a decent price. As is the case, I always like to get a physical manual for a piece of gear which I'm likely to keep. And this is something I'm likely to keep. Haven't got it working yet. Haven't actually even powered it up yet. Haven't got it yet. I've been doing videos on it. This is beautiful, really nice manual. All right, board layouts, circuit diagrams, instructions, very nice. So I've got the original manual to go with the original unit. Does this have a year in here? It's got 1167 down here. That might be month and year, 1967? Don't know, not sure. Yeah, but it could be November 1967. It could be the, the time this was. So that helps me to do that repair a nice manual will go with the unit so when I do repair on that thing and or refurbish whatever it ends up being I've got an original manual to reference which is brilliant love getting original manuals if you ever see someone chucking original manuals in a bin fish them out put them on eBay someone will want it I bought this from PB Tech which is a local company I think I know what it is anyway that's what I believe it is and they never ever or almost never I should say put any kind of protection on them inside the boxes to protect the thing that's being shipped and once again, that's the case. Get it out. See, no protection side there. So if you buy anything PB Tech and you're in New Zealand, don't buy anything fragile. If you need something fragile, go to a store, get it in person. Never ever have them post it. Because they always either put no protection or insufficient protection in there. I've had hard drives turn up with nothing in them. Just a hard drive right inside a box. I had to make a claim of it once, that was a nightmare. Anyway, so, Blue Yeti. There you go, there's Yeti on the side. So I don't know if this is any good. My mic that I normally use, my Samsung Go mic, which I've been using for know, five years or so, for doing the live streams, things like that, it finally gave up. I think I know which part is actually wrong with it. I think there's a USB chip in there which has died, but that chip is hard to get, it seems. The only place I could find them was on eBay, which is always a dodgy place to get parts from. And you had to buy them five at a time. I only one. I would like to get two. And the cost for those five parts is as much as a new microphone or a new Samsung Go mic. And it's only a cheap mic anyway. It wasn't that expensive to start with. So I thought, well, let's get another microphone. And so I picked up this Blue Yeti. I don't know what these are like. I just wanted to get one quickly so I had one in time for my next live stream. Which is tomorrow morning in 11 hours time. <laughs> just in time. 
So yeah, I need to um, actually see if this even works. So now I've seen banded around a bit. What does this want to come out? How do you open the buddy box? Oh, it's a side opening. They're trying to be flashy. Oh. <laughs> uh, USB cable. Some form of instructions. At least the mic's in polystyrene. So it would have survived the PD Tech postage. Well, this thing's heavy. All right. It's got these big threaded fittings on the bottom there too, if you want that. Interesting. Rubber grommet in there, which is falling out. That's pushing that back in again. So we've got a headphone jack on here, USB port here. This is a USB based unit. The uh, serial number is 2212, so I'm guessing that means December last year, so four months old. It's got directional patterns. So stereo, omnidirectional, cardioid, and front rear. I think I'm probably going to need this one, potentially. But no, is that symbol back to front? I mean, I don't know. And if you're looking at the microphone this way around, would you interpret this as being away from you? Or towards you? Hmm. Sort of gain control in the front as well. So that's right. Or well, is this the front? Which side is the front? Is that the front? Or is that the front? So if that's the back, then yes, that would make sense. I guess that's the front, isn't it? Logo towards you. So we've got headphone volume and a mute button. Okay, I don't need that anymore. Though. It's a bit of a beast compared to my Go mic. My Go mic is, you know, this big. <laughs> I guess I need to hook this up tonight and actually have a look at it and see if it actually works okay. It's got a foam mounted base, rubber mounts on the sides here. The only other mic I've got right now is at the back of the desk here behind everything. It's that Ceremonic mic sitting in the back of there. You can see a little green display going off of that. I've done a review on that mic, I got it from Banger for free a couple of years back. Back when I actually used to do stuff at Banggood. Try and get stuff out of now, it's like trying to get blood out of stone. Can't get anything now. That's what I've got over here. So what I actually did have set up was the ceremonic over here. So when I'm sitting at this bench doing my live streams, we've got the ceremonic over here. So when I'm sitting at this bench and I've got the camera view set up to this bench, it's using this microphone. So it's the one closest to me. And then I'm at my computer doing like the face cam thing on the computer there. And you know, people can see my face and stuff on it. Then I had the Samsung Go mic over that side. So I switched from one mic to the other. So this was going to replace the Samsung Go mic, obviously because it's failed. It may work so well that I don't need this one. I might be able to do like stereo on it or something. And then convert it back to mono and ABS maybe. I don't know if I can do that. Or do the two-way front and rear thing and maybe angle it both ways so I can get some front and back. I have to play around with this thing see what actually works. But I might not need to have two microphones. Maybe go back to use one microphone if this can handle the patterns nicely. Omnidirectional tends to be a bit echoey. But if you've got front and rear, then I could probably face it in a way so that when I'm at the computer, it's facing towards me. And then at the back of it, it's facing towards this desk. Maybe I'll do something like that. Check out other videos down below there. Subscribe over there if you're not already subscribed. Patreon support link over there if you feel like doing that and helping me to buy things like new microphones. This thing wasn't cheap. Cut a hundred bucks for this thing.